Nation. You keep flexing with that sack, then I'ma take it, um, y'all. And they be hating, they don't wanna see me make it, y'all. Um, but ain't no stopping me, nigga, gonna have to hate me. Hey, y'all, they biting on my flows, I had to change them. Wagwan, Orlando, Florida's own Glock 9. Reminds me of Kodak and the way that he sounds, but definitely wearing dreads a lot different than Kodak. We see Glock 9 here rocking the freeform dread fro, very similar to how Bob Marley was rocking it in his early early days in his career. Glock 9 actually has the emoji avatar of Sideshow Bob, Black Sideshow Bob. I guess resembling that his hair is very similar to Sideshow Bob's. And you can see in the animation here, it's dyed red and black just like Glock 9's. Hey, they on my flows, I had to Definitely being a type 4 hair, Glock 9's dreads are dyed red with um, a little bit of highlights and we see that there is a little bit of Congo is happening as some of his dreads are starting to fishtail together, combining them up. Probably about two years going on his third year into the journey, Glock 9's dreads don't reveal any scalp or any maintenance techniques that kind of leave a parting effect. We essentially just have a dread sponged fro turning into a dread fro. At closer inspection, we can see that his tips aren't really blunted or anything. He's got a lot of frizzy hair regarding and re revolving around the dreads itself. It even looks like some of his locks are turning to be flatter than the rest. Ideally meaning that he is freeforming these dreads. Hey, I got some niggas in the chain game. Oh, yeah. Some lost their mind and some trying to maintain. Oh, hey, come on. Some up the road, they bleeding out of that game pain. Oh, yeah. And you can tell they ain't no shit. I'm on the same thing. Hailing from Florida, a lot of these dudes have the wicks happening out there with the rubber bands or the sewing technique like we see Kodak rocking. But we see Glock 9 here just rocking the dread fro and eventually maybe going into some natural wicks if he lets these combine up on their own and not separate them. It kind of reminds me of Curtis Williams' dreads. Uh, in the early stages so he um, Glock 9 actually has a lot of potential for these to become legendary locks very thick very strong roots if he just leaves them growing uh, do note the gold teeth swag that is happening out in Florida along with the dreads sick now the stage Glock 9 is at with his dreads is actually the most fun stage because the dreads kind of have a mind of their own they'll start to stand up and do things without you even trying to really do it and uh, it, it's really a part of the process a part of the journey that you don't really get to experience without having baby locks like this so it's always advantage to go through the baby lock stage now I'm interested to know what you guys think of his dye job his bleach job that he has going on in his dread fro do you guys feel like you like the color it's pretty unique. You don't really see too many people rocking hair coloring in the way that Clock 9 is doing it. But I'll definitely have to do a revisit on his locks in the years to come just to make sure that his journey is being as badass as it claims to be so far. I'm going to head out of here. Peace out. One love, not nation. I'll see you in the next video. Adios. Peace. The nation.